Ladies and gentlemen, I've tried more than 100 data analysis tools, curated the best ones of them, and trimmed it down to the top five for you. I've listed all the links in the description below, and by the end of this video, you will not only familiarize yourselves with these tools, but you'll also learn how to use them step by step, and all without breaking the bank. All you have to do is stick around till the end, and watch how artificial intelligence can automate your data analysis tasks for free. So the first tool I want to show you is called Data Squirrel. It turns data into decisions instantly. It says, Data Squirrel is the go-to business intelligence platform for individuals and teams who want to make sense of any data and make decisions independently. No tech skills required. So first things first, you will need to register with your email and full name. Now, let's pretend I am a sales manager for a sports apparel company and I'm gonna upload a sample sales report. So let's begin by signing in with my credentials. Then here, I can upload my CSV file. And while the data is being processed, let me tell you a bit about what I'm trying to achieve here. I want to create a sales performance report and present it to the top level management. Now, I don't know much about the raw data as it is the sample, but I would like to ultimately present it as visuals with key findings. And here it is. Now you can see this page gives an overview of the uploaded data, the total number of rows and columns in the CSV file, and all the uploaded columns are all clearly listed here as well. And you can also see the different data types and the facts which are super strong insights of every column as it will help you understand your data file in an instant. Now, one cool feature it has is you can decide which columns you'd like to import to or not to. Well, in this case, Let's import all columns for this demo. And another amazing feature this tool has is it identifies sensitive data in your file. And if you indeed decide to import it, it automatically anonymizes the sensitive information for you. And I think it's a highly commendable feature since we don't want any sensitive data like payment details, customer names, and other classified information to be compromised, right? So I think we're good to go and let's go on and click accept and import. And now it's already done. And Data Squirrel has performed the following data cleaning tasks. I identified two different date formats in one column and standardized them for consistency, corrected for inconsistent casing patterns in two columns, detected two values or text in number in two columns and labeled them as ignored values, removed 540 white spaces, two empty rows and eight duplicate rows and anonymized two columns to protect privacy. Now that's what you call automation. I simply love that this tool cleans my data across multiple ways. And of course, my favorite is that it detects and cleans any inconsistent casing due to input errors and standardizes my data file. So let's move on to creating visuals and let's have Data Squirrel automatically create relevant charts for us based on this file. I'll go ahead and click on Go Auto. And now you can see that Data Squirrel has created 16 charts for my data. And at a glance, I am very happy that I have most of my analysis created super fast, but of course you can still customize some of these charts as well. Let me show you how you can do that. Let's say we want to customize the chart for visualizing the revenue generated by each product. Let's go ahead and click that. Now in here, Generally, I'd like my graphs to be split by product category, so let's go ahead and choose that in the split by option. Now that's more like it, but let's go ahead further and turn all this data in a tabular form for a more comprehensive view. And there you have it. You can even download it here. And let's say I want to make a comment on this based on my observation of the chart. All you have to do is go to this pencil icon and edit the description. Eyewear for sports seems to have the largest sum of revenue in the group. Now you can share it via email or use the link to share this chart on WhatsApp or any communication tool you have to your your colleagues in the company. How cool is that? Now moving on to our second tool, which is an AI tool that lets you chat with your data and get insights in seconds. I'm talking about HAL 9. So to get started, of course you need to create your account and sign in. As you can see here on its user interface, there is a text box for your prompts and questions. In this case, it's still disabled because I haven't selected a file to work with, so I'll start here. Analyze your own CSV file. And you can upload your own CSV files from your computer here or select a sample from the list below. So I'm going to select this file with information about digital marketing campaigns. Now let's imagine that I want to know what is the ad type with the highest average engagement. Now when I hit enter, you can see HAL 9 generating some kind of Python code in the background. And if we were using the HAL 9 version that connects to a database, we would see some SQL code being generated first, and then the Python code would process it and have it visualized for you, like coding magic. Now going back, you can see here the response to my question is the average 
ad type with the highest engagement is image. And I also have a chart here with the three different ad types that we can use for comparison. So I can save this chart by clicking here. But for the sake of this video, let's imagine that I want to add a filter per campaign because I want to compare the campaigns that we have. So this is the response that I got. You can see here the chart and the answer that we were previously seeing. But now this depends on this filter that I can select between the winter sale campaign or the summer sale campaign. And as we click it, we can see the data switching according to the filter that we have, which is pretty awesome. Now, since I'm happy with it, I'm just going to give it a five star and I can share it with my team. And this is the cool part. Aside from renaming it and giving it a description, it also gives you the option to customize the URL name of your choice. And you can select the privacy level that you want for this URL. So we have private, which means only I can see it, unlisted, which means only the people with the URL can see it. And finally, public, meaning that anyone seeing your profile page can see it. Now, I also want to show you this feature under settings. When I click this checkbox right here, it enables the feature that allows me to see the code behind the application that I got. So basically, you can audit, debug, or even modify the code behind your dashboard very easily. And just like a code editor, you can simply write a comment right here, and you don't have to modify anything. But if ever you're into that kind of stuff, every time you modify the code, the application will reload and adapt to the new code that you just wrote. So this feature is very useful when you want to ensure that your code is performing the way it's meant to be. Moving on to our third tool called Visly. This is a powerful data tool that transforms your data questions into actionable insights. So this is its interface. Let's go to try it now. Oh, so it has some demo worksheets we can use as examples. Let's choose online store data and boom, it instantly generates a preview of the database. And it even asks the first question for us, how many customers are there in each country? Now in this graph, we can clearly see that the United States has the highest number of customers from the list, but I want to see more of its capabilities. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my own CSV file, which we used earlier. Go to try with your data, create a new chat and upload the CSV file of your choice. Now it's uploaded. We can see there are ready-made prompts available in the chat box that will give you an idea of what you can ask. And of course, depending on the information you want to extract for your database. Now I'm going to choose top selling products. And this is interesting as it seems like Visly has detected it cannot answer this question. Please ask questions relevant to the data selected. So in that case, I'm going to choose sales by city and let's see what it comes up with. And finally, it generated a nice beautiful graph for a better overview of the revenue each city has generated. Now, of course, this is just a sample data set and it's quite interesting that it didn't upload all the information the original file had, but it's okay for now, at least we got to know its potential capabilities. And that's for Visly. Now, next on the list is something called Research Studio. This tool helps you make sense of your data, transform your data into action, delivers rapid AI powered research analysis for user experience, marketing and product people. So first, of course, you have to register and log in. Now it takes you to this interface, select create create one now. For the name, I'm just going to put in sales report as well as for the description and click on create research. Now choose the CSV file of your choice and boom, the dancing logo is now popping up, which means we're going to get the output very soon. Now, while waiting, let's remember this tool acts more like a chatbot, And especially now we're only using it in its free trial form. We may not be able to generate visual graphs like how we did for the previous models. So essentially it just acts like ChatGPT on steroids, but with more detailed features. So anyway, here is the output it generated. So it's basically like a summary of the entire report. And now let's say I want to talk about the highest revenue and it it says, the highest revenue is generated by the sale of the Ace Volley 18 apparels by Ruby Clark with a total revenue of $750. Well, of course, every information is just an example. Great. Now I want to know what is the most saleable item and in what location. It says, the most saleable item is the FLAC 2.0 XL eyewear and it was sold in New York City. Now list all the items from highest to lowest based on sale in a tabular format. Let's see if it can handle this kind of request. Now it indeed handed out the list based on sale, which is pretty promising for a startup AI data analyst tool. But what do you think? You can always let us know in the comment section below. And finally, onto the last one, we have ChartPixel. This is an AI assisted charts and insights platform. 
and there are two ways you can use it to visualize charts from data. The first is using Excel sheets or CSV files. Then there's also one called Keyword Data Search, where it can access public databases to search for any key terms that you would like to target, or for your SEO on your website, or anything like that. So let's give it an example. Something crazy like Nutella ice cream. If the product that you're trying to develop is maybe gaining up in search results, or in popularity, or people are actually looking for that, then you can use this option to do your keyword research. And the advantage you have when using ChatPixel is you can then convert it into a graph or chart as well. But of course there are other apps out there that is 100% meant for keyword optimization alone. But this one is just a side feature of ChartPixel, which makes it more versatile than its competition. So finally we got some results in terms of data analysis, and we have a little insight here. It says, there is no significant trend in the data for search interest for Nutella ice cream, which is as expected as there is no official Nutella ice cream distribution yet in the United States. But I'll not dig into it, because my goal is to make you understand what you can do with this tool, or at least with this part of the tool. And right here, you can choose two different kinds of graphs and see what you found based on this keyword that you put in. So that was just a quick side note, and let's go back to the main page, where you can upload your own data. But since I don't have data for Nutella ice cream, what I'm gonna do is head on over to their data library that you can click right below the Choose File option. As you can see, there are a lot of free datasets that you can use for learning, and of course, for uploading into ChartPixel itself. Now this intrigues me a lot, I'm gonna choose Fortune 1000 Richest Companies. I'll go ahead and upload it into ChartPixel, and voila! There you have it. You can now have a quickly visualize chart here based on the richest Fortune 1000 companies you have, and you also get a data analysis summary of what is happening here, like the profit of those in the telecommunication sector is significantly higher compared to others. And among the two categories of CEOs, those who are founders have a profitable CEO percentage of 75%, which is moderately lower than the overall sample percentage of 88%. This suggests that being a founder decreases the likelihood of being a profitable CEO deviating from the expected result. The next step obviously is that you can download this all you have to do is make an account. So now you can go and open your keynote or PowerPoint, whatever you guys are using, create a new document, and then just start dragging your new chart into this. And you can go and present your new chart to your team or to your shareholders. And you even have a legend here. If you have a chart pixel, a watermark, but I mean, Come on, you can always just crop it so the watermark disappears. So I think for a free tool, this does an amazing job. And if you are looking for a really efficient and fast way to visualize your data, I think ChartPixel is an amazing option. And that's all that we have for AI data analysis today. These tools represent a glimpse into the transformative power AI has in this modern age. Its growing integration into data analytics underscores the profound shift toward efficient, automated solutions for modern problems. It's a great example of the accelerated pace at how AI is becoming an indispensable part of our daily lives. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.